So back in 1903, in the middle of the night, this mountain behind us gave way and 110 million tons of rock slid down, killed almost 100 people, and it was devastating. So we just arrived here in Frank Slide. We turned off, we headed up to the interpretive center to kind of get some info and, you know, take a look at the mountain. Pretty cool because it's actually like, on average, about 14 meters deep, but in some places it can be as deep as 45 meters. This is all the rock that fell from that mountain. It's pretty cool. I guess I don't know, is it cool or is it like sad? It's sad. It's a major disaster that we can still look at and appreciate 120 years later. They have some uh, numbers on a pamphlet with different stories of what happened in that location, so it was kind of cool to imagine you know, what used to exist underneath the rocks. It said this guy, he was a brakeman for the Canadian Railway. And uh, right after the slide, he didn't get injured any, but the train is still coming. The train didn't know there was a slide, but there's a bunch of rocks blocking the railway. So he had to like go out and then flank down the conductor and be like, dude, slow down, there's a bunch of rocks. And he did it. They said the train stopped just in time. Took a little drive on one of the side roads that actually goes right through where the town of Frank was. So, you know, we're we're driving over top of like destroyed houses and like bodies, I guess, are probably still down there. Like it's kind of freaky to think about that like they never excavated all this rock or pulled it out. So there's a there's a town under here right now. We felt like just driving through the rubble and walking through it a little bit wasn't enough. We needed to get the full experience, so we wanted to hike all the way to the top of Turtle Mountain, and so that's what we're gonna do. After checking out the Interpretive Center, we'll head to the Turtle Mountain Trailhead, hike to the north and south summits, and then make our way to the helipad. Water. How much water? I have two bottles. Now it is time to do some hiking. We're gonna head up Turtle Mountain. We're at the trailhead. Finney's coming with us, and there's two summits, a north and a south summit. We wanna get to both of them. Check out the slide from above. So right from the get-go, this hike was just consistently uphill. Starts off nice and steep. Perfect. There was not really any flat spots, not really any breaks, and Finney was leading the way. I don't think he knew uh, how long of a hike he was on, so he was just running back and forth, getting the most of it. I wanted to be like, hey, Finn, pace yourself. We got a long way to go, but his English, not so good. <laughs> so about five years ago, is when me and Madsen decided to start this little YouTube channel where we post videos of our hikes. This is our 100th episode and adventure that we've done together. So it's fun to look back and remember all the good times and bad times. And appreciate that it's brought us closer together as friends. And we've had a lot of good times doing it. Let's go, come on, let's keep going. 100 times doing these and it doesn't really get easier. How are you feeling? Oh, never better. We had a sunny day, which makes all the difference. We could see mountains all around us. We could see the, the foothills off on the, in the east. Despite a little bit of wind, couldn't ask for a better day. Really hoping the wind dies off before we get to the top. We got to the north peak. We come over that little crest and then we can see the south peak way in the distance and we knew we were in for quite the challenge. I was proud of Finney for making it that far. And we knew we had some work to do to get to the South Peak. Good, come here. Come here. Can you come? Wanna come? Start going down there. I think that's probably the biggest. Yeah. Way. You're hoping he just comes? He was just being a little bit scared cat. Jump in. So the hike here from the North Peak to the South Peak was particularly challenging. Lots of like this jagged rock and the trail was kind of tough to find. This way or that way? I'd go to the right. Oh, I love this guy. Oh, 
keys. <laughs> We're gonna be out. Oh, thank you. You're doing so good, my boy. Drink the rest. Come on. There's actually a relatively easy trail. We kind of missed it and ended up on some sketchier rocks, but found the trail again. It's a little easier for Finn because he wasn't liking that other place. So it's good. Now we're just gonna cut across and head up there. Pretty cool for a adventure number 100. No, thought it was the top, but it's not. We have to go all the way over there. You got a really nice view from up top there of the slide and looking back down and seeing how much rock fell, it's, it's, it's mind blowing. It's, there's so much rock. 110 million tons, that's a lot of rock. Come on Finn, we're almost there. That was Turtle Mountain. Finny did a great job. You're a good boy. Did you hike up that mountain? Yes, you did. So that was Frank's slide. Thought it was a pretty deadly hike. Lots of history behind it too, which makes it a little bit more fun. And it was also our 100th episode. So thanks to all you guys that watch. And thanks to Matson, who's a epic, epic trip adventures partner. And hopefully we can do 100 more. Tune into ETA next time for another epic trip adventure. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? We are happy to say we're in Kananaskis. We are doing the Turbine Canyon. We're starting off here at uh, Upper Kananaskis Lake. We got Lower Kananaskis Lake behind me. And yeah, it's about a 15K hike in. We're gonna camp there overnight and then we're gonna camp back out <laughs> after. <laughs> Stranding hazard. I've never seen that.